Hello and welcome to learningengineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take data from this Excel spreadsheet column here and we're going to use it to populate a combo box in a form in, Word, in a Word document. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need a blank document. So I'm just going to double click on this and then the first things we're going to need to do is one, we're going to need to save this as. So save as. And we need to save it as a Word macro enabled document. And I also want to save it to, there we go. So I have a special folder on my C drive that I save everything to. When I do this because it just makes it easier, I don't have to deal with so many folders. So we're gonna name this. So we have to save as type, remember, Word, Macro, Enable, Document. And we're gonna say college box form. Okay. And we'll say save. And so that's our form. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to go to file and options, and just make sure on your customized ribbon, you do have developer checked. So mine is checked, so we're good. If it's not checked, of course, check it. Then we need to go to developer and select Visual Basic. And this is where we're gonna create everything. But the first thing we need to do is we need to go to tools and we need to go to references. Okay, so we have our first one here, Microsoft Word 16 Object Library. We need that. And then we need to scroll down and we need to make sure that the Microsoft Excel 16 Object Library is checked. So check that and select OK. Once you've done that, then we're going to come over here and where it says this document, you're going to right click. You're going to go to insert and select user form. So this is going to be our user form. So we're just going to leave it as user you at. We're going to leave it as user form one. Okay. So everything's there. We can change the caption though. We can say, please. Whoops. Please select your college. And then we are going to take our toolbox. Toolbox can be tricky. For some reason, my toolbox jumps to another screen. I have no idea why. So now we're gonna click this combo box. We're gonna drag it over here, drop it. You can also draw it on if you want. So I just dragged and dropped it on. And then I'm going to do command button. So here I'm just drawing this on, as you can see. And for a command button, I prefer to uh, name this CMD butt. And then for the caption, we're just going to say And for the code for We're just going to say user form one dot hide. Okay, so when we click the OK button, we just want it to close the user form. This is, this is only to show you how to populate the combo box. I'm not doing anything with it. I'm just showing you how to populate it. I have other videos that show you how to take data that you get from a form and insert it into your document via bookmarks. And I have like three or four of those videos. So I'm not doing that this time. So if you need to do that, there's videos for that. So let's go back to user form one and then let's select our combo box. And its name is combo box one. We're gonna rename that to college box one. Oops, I'm sorry, college box one. And then there's also a, what's called a text field for this. And what that allows you to do is put text in there. 
so that they can get instructions. So as you can see here, I'm going to say select knowledge below. And I am going to come back up and change the font from, not from Tahoma, I'm just going to make it bigger. I do like Tahoma. I will make a bold and we'll do that. And then you can see it's a lot easier to see. We could probably shorten this up a little bit. So that part is done. So now we need to do the coding. Okay. And so when you do coding for something like this, where you're populating the combo box, you want to do that when the form initializes. So I'm just going to double click on the form. And as you can see, it says user form click. So here's our user form and it says click. We're going to change this click to initialize. Because I don't think there is an open or load. Nope, nope. So initialize would be like a load or an open command. So initialize. And this is where we're going to put our code to populate our combo box. So the first thing we need to do is set our, basically our variables, meaning we're loading these variables up with information. So the first one is we have to access, we have to create a workbook object. So we're gonna say set Excel workbook equal to create object. Then we need to set our Excel worksheet to our Excel workbook, and then workbooks, whoops. And then you've got to find that Excel file. And then we have to access the sheet. And as you can see down here, it says sheet one. And so we have to have it sheet one. I'm going to close this. And we can just expand this out completely now. There we go. So if you lose this window, if you just click Visual Basic, it should come back. Now we have to set the range of the cells we're going to use. So we say set range data Excel worksheet dot range and A1 because that's our first column. This is the column we're using to A100. Okay. Now I will tell you, I did look at this, this last range data one, and I tried to find a way where you just selected the whole column. And I couldn't find that anywhere. Now, you can do it if you're in Excel, but doing it this way from Word, opening up that Word, that Excel document and so on, programmatically, it doesn't really work. And I couldn't find a, a solution that worked for this other than to just grab like 100. And you could set this to 100. You could set it from A1 to A1000, however long you want to do it. Now, if you're like, well, it's going to pull in all of these blanks, you're right, but we, there is a solution for that. 
I'm going to show you that next, okay? So once we have our range, then we can start adding it to the combo box. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for each cell in range data, and then we're going to add the items with, I'm sorry, college box one. I believe that's what it's called. Yep, college box one. With college box one. Now to get rid of the blanks, I'm going to use a select case. Now, oftentimes people will use if then statements, but to be honest, select case is actually a little more efficient and a little bit easier to understand. So I generally like to use select cases, especially in Visual Basic. It's just an easier tool I've found. So I'm going to go select case, cell value. And our first case is, is it empty? Okay. And if it's empty, it's not going to do anything. And then we're just going to jump to case else. But if it is case else, that means there's something in it. And so in this case, we're going to go add item. Whoops, we don't want to do that. We still have to say something here. And we're just going to say cell value. And then we're going to say end select. Then we're going to say end with. And then we're going to say next. And that's it. That's all of the code. This will populate this. This will populate the combo box. So we're going to say stop. And then we're just going to go ahead and play this. So And if I click, you'll see that it only took the ones that have something in the cell, even though we went to 100. So you can see that worked. I'm going to click OK, and that'll close it. And that's it. I will post a copy of this file and a copy of the code to my website, learningengineer.com. So if you need that, and I will post those links in the video comments or the description, in the video description. So that's how you populate a combo box from an Excel document in Word using BBA. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any other videos you want me to make, I'm going to start making videos once a week. Uh, I know I stopped for a while. I've been busy, but I will be back doing that.